Today we are unboxing this super retro My First Barbie. Let's go. Okay, so in honor of the new movie, I think it may be time to open up these retro dolls that I have, or some retro dolls that I have. This one I thrifted a couple years ago. I cannot believe I got it for $5.50. That is amazing. It has the original price tag on it. Even in the 80s, it was $10. I can't believe I'm opening it. I don't think it's worth that much money. The box isn't in perfect condition or anything. Um, I'm actually trading it. I don't really love 80s Barbies. Um, I, don't, it's, that's, I know that's strange, but I don't, have my, I don't have my proper tools with me right here. Oh, yes, I do. Sweet. I like to use this paper cutter. Uh, I don't like, I don't, the proportions, um, can I say that? I don't know, the proportions are even more ridiculous, so I guess I don't mind them as much, but it's, there's just something a little too pretty and, yeah, um, ruffly and frilly, obviously, I, I, modern Barbie is just a lot cooler to me for some reason. Now, we will pay attention to the details on this, though, and see, like, a lot of people do say that Barbie isn't as high quality anymore. I beg to differ. I think the quality is there. I just think that the details are minimized. Oh, wow. Okay, the stuff that I'm most excited about here is this additional items. Okay, so I love these collector books. And uh, we can take a trip down memory lane. And when they're in this mint condition, this is incredible. I gotta, I'll probably keep this in a binder. I, I, I don't think I... Can give this away. Look at uh, look at that. I guess it's double sided and it's the two different languages. Probably Canadian version. And then this card, cardstock. Punch this out yourself. Uh, music sheet music and I don't. What's this? Is this a, is this a xylophone? piece or I don't, I don't I don't know what that is maybe it's some kind of markers for dancing or something this is really really amazing I don't know what this stuff is for maybe there were picture frames that you could put this stuff in it's awesome look you can see there Mattel 1986 and then we get this little collector card I wish what we got collector cards. It'd be so easy for each toy company just to put a little card in the window of the box that, you know, would be loose and you could take out. I would love that if they would include or just make the signs on it, packaging a little card that you could collect, even if it's not printed on the back or anything. It's just so fun. Ever After High did that a couple times and some other some of Mother Mattel dolls did do that, and action figures. Uh, very, very pretty. And then we get this ticket that is more of a display piece in the bottom of the box, but you could cut that out and have this. Anyway, easy to dress doll, kind of like those new ones that they have put out recently. And, uh, oh, there's even more. Oh no, dog-eared. Here, unfortunately. Oh, wow. Okay, here's all the great stuff. It's the... Oh, I got the perfect shirt on. It was the... It was the same time era. Do we even have the same ones? No. Barbie and the Rockers. Malibu. Maybe they'll be in here. We'll see. Love Barbie and the Rockers. Love that 80s stuff so much. Oh, yeah, this is... This is the collector guide. It is too bad that it came with a wrinkle, but amazing. 
This is the most fun part for me, is the nostalgic going back. I have seen this sheet before. I think uh, a friend of mine showed me this from one of their 1986 dolls. That can outfit is amazing. Is that an outfit? Is that... I don't even know about this glamour that glows. I love glow-in-the-dark stuff. That is amazing. That Ken outfit looks so out of this world. And there's more Ken outfits here that are incredible. And then Barbie and the Rockers with different outfits on. Incredible. Okay, that's... I don't know. I don't know how we're going to top that with that, but she's she is looking really cute and pretty. I hope that there's not any staples or anything. They have a place. This is I love how mint this is all in mint condition. They have a place to twist tie her head in. I don't think that she's stapled with her head, but we'll soon find that out after I undo this pink twist tie. Even the twist tie is pink. You can see that the quality of the ribbon is definitely a better quality ribbon. I can't deny that at all. And then the hair has this, corrug it's this corrugated plastic, but it's not sewn in. I'm just enjoying the packaging. And then oh, that is the packaging. And then this is a little additional ribbon for her hair and a brush and shoes. That's amazing. Okay, I guess I'm going to cut that out. I guess we have to try that stuff on her too, don't we? Can I take this tape off without ruining the box? No, better not. I'll just cut the tape off. Put that aside. Purple and pink. Every little girl's favorite color. Let's look in this goodie bag. I guess normally I wouldn't, but I gotta use the pink scissors, of course. Okay, and got a little snip. So this is kind of a purple brush, and uh, uh, looks like it would work better than the combs that we get today. It's nice, I have to say that. The quality does seem to be there. Oh, those ribbons are for the shoes. Oh, the, these are like rubbery. A little squishy here. And then they've got the ribbons to tie all the way up and wrap around the ankles. Okay. I can't, I can't deny that that is amazing attention to detail too. Okay, let's clear out some of this stuff. And uh, finally, the doll. Okay, she's got some crazy lag I don't know can you call oh no lag mold so she got a skin disease over the years of being trapped in the box I don't know it's, it seems I mean she was locked away so what is that bend and snap knees so much satisfaction oh Barbie that looks <laughs> like that just looks gross uh, I can't, I can't, I can't, uh, that's not cool this comes off. It's with a snap. I've talked about that this on my channel before that. I don't... The snaps make for a... I like the Velcro because it makes for a lower profile and it, it makes things less bulky. In this case, everything is frilly and bulky anyway. There's a lot of layers. There's this a very good quality ribbon that kind of got box ribboned in the back of the box. But I guess you could move that around. It's just stitched there. I don't know. It's kind of better that it's wrinkled and hiding the stitch and looking frilly and stuff. But it does come off. The um, legs do seem a bit tacky. Yeah, these proportions are... You know what? They're not the same proportions as number one Barbie, which I like. You can see how uh, the hem is down. Like, you have to fold that under. That's been... How many years has this been? 60, 60 some years of this being not put on properly. But yeah, the legs are a bit tacky, which I guess is why the discoloration 
the head is pretty cute, but she does look very dated to me. That makeup is too cutesy. The elastic, of course, is crumbling in the hair. This elastic seems to be fine. Get this little plastic bag. The hair looks, uh, it's not very box hair for all of those years being in the box. And it's styled immaculately. Um, the people who worked in the factories then, I guess, were, they were a lot older <laughs> than the people working in factories today. And they probably paid more attention to her hair. I'm taking all the crumbled um, elastic band out of her hair. But this one, and this quality elastic, is definitely holding on. Even the tool is of a better standard. It's thicker and sturdier. And so I am going to say it now that... Uh, that... This, uh, some of the quality is better. Like this, the quality of material of this one piece bathing suit thing, that's not, that's not very good. It's not very good quality. It's a very bad piece of polyester. Very costumey. Uh, but the tool that they're using isn't as thin. I, I like how sturdy it is, but maybe the softer, lighter tool that they have in innovations and tool today that they use might be might some people might like it better but i do like the volume that it's giving uh yeah as you could see there these cuffs are removable her sticky legs are freaking me out and then the way that this is constructed is pretty nice there to this day they're still using ribbons as waist belts and uh, they never do get the stitching quite right. You can see that there is some buckling in some areas. It's not perfectly even or it's been pulled up a bit. But it does, it does look very, very well constructed. It's hard to, hard to do the edge of the ribbon. But the ribbon, again, is definitely of a higher quality than some of the ribbons that we see in Barbie today. All right, should I put these shoes on? I guess I'll, I'll just give you a, a, a gist. You put on the ballet flat and you would wrap around the lace and with her sticky legs, it would really, that is so cool. I think that's really, really cool. Just like a real ballerina slipper. Um, amazing. Let's get her face again. We could put her head on a made-to-move body. I think that's definitely an option. Very dated. Uh, that smile. You can see that the, the teeth and the lips, the indent there to the teeth. There is some, that's, that's, that's some major sculpting going on. And the ear is an earring hole. I don't know, there's a, she has at least the illusion of pierced ears, which is interesting. I guess it's a place, if they were putting in earrings, that they'd have a guide. It's probably in the mold, so they know exactly where to put it, which sometimes is difficult, actually, when you've pierced, if you've ever pierced your own doll's ears. Well, the under makeup is crazy. Eyes are good. That face, though, I have a, a friend who would have been, I don't know, she would have been 20 when Barbie looked like this. She's an older lady, but she looks so much like Barbie, and I've seen pictures of her in the 80s, and she had makeup, and her face and her smile looked just like that. And I can't stop seeing it, but I guess it was a look of the times. Those legs, though. Oh, <laughs> it just looks like a disease. All right, like, comment, share, and subscribe. <clears throat> we'll see you next time. Yeah, I can't get over this. It said on the front of the box that I would get special offer for young girls. 
three to five years old four dollar rebate only only little girls three to five years old could get this rebate fortunately i don't qualify maybe that's in here it's the same colors yellow you can really see that yellow and then you have the blue so the barbie core colors that we're seeing so much in the movie are really prominent here so this, this is a very good barbie core guide we've got that purple pop in there but mostly yellow pink and blue of course there's see so there's some white in there um, i guess these are easy to dress i don't can i yeah i mean you can slip i can slip that down over her shoulders really easy yeah i got film on my fingertips from her legs her sticky legs that's why I, I don't i never like these legs everybody loves these legs like i mean very satisfying the click 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 is fun and everything but they're sticky and you can't get pants on them and there's there's so many negatives to the rubbery legs and there's like some kind of accessories look so good and then let's go back to this one this is definitely the best one so check out those outfits unfortunately most of these outfits wouldn't fit i was gonna say all but look at that jogger set that might actually fit on today's barbie proportions so cool yeah these are great i i really do just want i would love to have all of these outfits they should totally reissue they actually have barbie rewind does look a lot like this stuff those ken outfits they would all fit the new buff ken which is awesome i want them all um it says modes ken ken twice as nice fashions there actually are fashions you don't have to get the whole ken you can get the fashion packs i want them all i should go on ebay first of all i gotta get rich and then i can go on ebay i can't afford any of the new uh barbie doll they're a hundred dollars in canada for the new movie dolls the not the base the basic ones are 60 i think uh the after tax and after tax the <laughs> all of the other ones all of the other movie dolls are like a hundred dollars 95 bucks 95 plus so that's not happening how can, how can i justify that and i'm trying to get rid of toys not get more uh yeah wait there's a backside to this there's even more i sh i went i showed you these glow fashions that ken suit is amazing and then these are super dynasty at the top there then we got barbie and the rockers my favorite quintessential 80s and then we've got some malibu stuff going on our glamour bath and shower set what oh my goodness look at that thing oh that would be oh i gotta i should google that and see how much that is and look at barbie's white long hair there tropical barbie and then look at that thing the splash cycle and then that whole exercise station is amazing. I've seen that in person. Um, this Music Love and Ken, incredible with the Walkman and everything in Music Love and Barbie. And they're both in yellow, that signature yellow. And then my first Barbie fashions, loving that raincoat. Uh, I, I love them all. Maybe not that red one. So good. You can read that too. 90 day limited warranty.